This is George from iTech Legion. You know, as much as we're seeing GPUs becoming more and more efficient, and CPUs as well for the most part, uh, we're also seeing a lot more systems with multiple GPUs. Uh, especially, you know, you get into the Bitcoin mining or something like that, you see a lot of people running like four uh, AMD 290 series cards or, you know, equivalent. And, you know, you're looking at just a tremendous amount of power necessary to run that, you know, especially, you know, all out. So we're also seeing, you know, a bit of an uptick now again in high powered uh, PSUs. Now, as far as high powered PSUs go, you know, there are a number out there, uh, 1500 plus watts, but it's mainly just really the big PSU manufacturers you see in the game. Uh, you know, breaking the 1500 watt uh, barrier is really not an easy thing to do and does take, you know, an accomplished hand at it. Um, now, today we're going to get a look at the EVGA Supernova 1600 P2, 1600 watts and platinum, uh, 80 plus platinum efficiency. And it's looking to be the best of the best as far as uh, 1500 watt plus PSU goes. And naturally when you're looking in that kind of price range to power the kind of equipment that you're looking uh, to power, you know, being the best of the best is really what you're looking for. Taking our first look at the 1600 uh, P2 Supernova from EVGA. Like I say, really, you know, you're powering up, you know, 2,000 plus uh, dollars worth of just GPUs alone, never mind the rest of your system. You really want something completely stable. It's going to give them, you know, the power that you're looking for, and you want the best PSU money can buy, obviously. Uh, PSU is not going to be somewhere to skip when you're, you know, looking to power that kind of equipment. So now, first look, like I say, take a look at the box, and as you can see, the uh, 1600 P2 itself is enormous, and it's probably the heaviest PSU I've ever seen. But let's get a quick look at the box real quick. Um, front standard EVGA issue, really nice black with the Supernova 1600 logo on the front. Go around the back, get a look at, of course, some of the features here. Uh, like I say, it is 80 plus platinum. Um, double vertical layer main transformer that increases power output, 100% highest quality Japanese Nippon Chemicon capacitors throughout. So really, there's no skimping on parts in here anywhere. Uh, the um, Nippon Chemicons are considered the best capacitors you can use in a PSU. Fully modular, of course. Quiet. Uh, auto fan for near silent operation. EVGA calls it eco fan. We've seen it in all of their new line and you know the entire new line has been stellar uh, to say the least. You actually have a switch you can run it with the fan off until it reaches about 40 degrees and you actually do see a little chart here showing fan off, fan will come on, cool the unit down. As the unit cools down, fan once again will ramp back down and turn off so you can have silent operation in almost all um, computing conditions. I mean obviously if you're running it full bore you're going to hear the fan, you know, the fan's going to come on, but it is a very, very quiet fan overall. Uh, single rail design, 133 amps, 1599 watts on the 12-volt uh, rail. I mean, just the power output on this unit is absolutely tremendous, to say the least. Uh, all full protection circuitry, over, under power, uh, over voltage short circuit, also temperature protection built in. So if it does overheat, it will shut down. You do get a 10-year warranty on this unit, uh, along with EVGA customer support. If you've never had uh, occasion to call EV EVGA customer support, they are probably the best in the business. EVGA really takes care of their customers, no question about that. And of course, Haswell Ready, um, C6, C7 state supported. So let's take a look at the unit itself. Like I say, really a big unit, as you can see, 200 millimeters top to bottom. So you do need to make sure that you do have the room in your case for it. And like I say, probably the heaviest power supply I've ever come across, it's eight pounds by itself. Uh, that may not sound like a lot, but when you pick it up, you're probably gonna say, wait, what the heck else is in this box? It's really an incredibly heavy power supply. Very, very well constructed. Uh, EVGA does use uh, a really nice metal casing, as you see all around with the, um, Fan grill built right into the casing, 135 millimeter fan behind it, as you see. Uh, very, very quiet, good cooling uh, with the Eco, like we say. Now, as you move around, you get your EVGA 1600 P2 sticker on the side with your power output. Like I say, 133 amps, 1599 watts on the 12 volt rail, uh, then coming down 24 amps on each of the minor rails with 120 watts combined. So, I mean, just like I say, power output absolutely tremendous. 
Moving around the other side, same sticker, so no matter which way you're mounting it, it's going to look exactly the same in the case, and it is a really nice looking unit in the case. On the back, standard plug and on off switch. And moving over to the modular side, and let's turn it right side up so you can actually get a look. You've got nine VGA connectors, total of five peripheral connectors, two CPU, motherboard, and your eco switch. Fully modular, as you see. And we're going to take a look at the accessories. Uh, EVGA does some of the best cables in the business. Digging into the accessories. This is someplace EVGA really excels. Uh, first off, the unit itself comes in a carrying bag. As you see here, storage pouch. So if you're ever going to store the unit, you've got that. Nice Velcro case for all your cables. And of course, there's a lot of cables, and you're probably not going to use all of them. Uh, instruction manual, multi-language. It's really only a couple of pages long, even though it looks a bit longer. Um, really not a whole lot to it, obviously. It's power supply. So, really, you've got three pages, or four pages, I should say, of uh, actual information and a table of contents. Moving on. Floppy connector is not on one of the cables. It is a, um, an add-on, which is nice to see. I mean, you don't need that floppy cable hanging off of there if you're not using a floppy, and most people aren't. Really nice thing to see. This is actually a PSU jumper. It allows you to power up the PSU without it being plugged into the motherboard. And if you do liquid cooling, you're going to bleed your unit. In absolutely invaluable. Next, power cable. 12 gauge. Not a little 18 gauge, anything like that. Uh, this is actually very important. You know, at 1600 watts, you're going to be drawing at about 15 amps at the wall. So 12 gauge power cable, very, very important. Uh, you don't want to be overheating your power cable. Obviously, you want something that's going to be able to deliver the current you want uh, without heating up, and EVGA has included it. You don't see 12 gauge power cables included very often with a power supply, that's for sure. Nice Velcro wire ties and screws. Now, looking at the cables themselves, uh, like I say, EVGA does fantastic cables. As you can see, you've just got a monster amount of cables included here. Uh, now, many of you may have seen, you know, um, you know, marketing that flat cables are so much easier to route, uh, better for air. Not true at all. If you've ever worked with them, they're much more difficult to route, um, and they actually block more air than a round cable, obviously. Um, reason, you know, reason they wind up, wind up getting used is the fact that they are the cheapest cables to produce. So, you know, I mean, I'm spending $400 on a power supply. I don't want to see cheap cables. I want to see good cables. And that is exactly what you're getting from EVGA here. Take a look at the motherboard cable, for example. All 16 gauge, except for the two capacitor leads. And I will be able to untie this at some point. Otherwise, all 16 gauge, as you see, individually sleeved, all black, end to end, nice sleeving in the middle. And that runs the gamut of all other cables. VGA cable, as you see, 6 plus 2, other end, all black cabling. Looks great in the case, and it's a quality cable. Very, very high quality cables uh, throughout, like I say. You don't get cables of this kind of quality with uh, very many uh, power supplies. And this is exactly what you want to see in a top-end power supply. Like I say, you're spending this kind of money, and you're running this kind of equipment, you want the best cables available. Cables are a very important thing. And also, you know, the fact that they even use capacitors in the motherboard cable, really a big boon there. So um, definitely a very, very nice accessory package from EVGA. Uh, personally, I think they're pretty much unparalleled as far as their accessory packages go. And out of the box, I think their cabling system is probably the best available. The one thing they don't have that I would like to see, uh, their peripheral cables are either SATA or 4-pin. There's no mix. I mean, obviously, once in a while, you do want to see, you know, one cable with, you know, two SATAs, two four pins, you know, if you're going to run a fan control or something, saves you from running one cable. But, I mean, that's obviously a very, very small nitpick and really just a beautiful accessory package from EVGA. Now, we're going to get it in the case, and uh, we're going to see exactly what kind of power it puts out. Taking a look at the power delivery during our load tests, I mean, what we're seeing here is nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, we've really only seen one other unit test this way, the Corsair AX1500i. I mean, you take a look. The, uh, all three rails are a dead flat line. You're seeing almost no fluctuation. Uh, you know, drawing tons of power from this is not, you know, giving it any type of uh, hard time whatsoever. It's just not phasing it, you know, at all. Uh, it's rated for 1600 watts at 50 degrees centigrade continuous. And, you know, I think that's exactly what we're seeing here, you know, and 
I mean, we're seeing no ripple variation, you know, uh, nothing close to going out of ATX regulation, that's for sure. And uh, seeing, you know, phenomenal regulation across the board. Really just an outstanding showing by the 1600 P2. After a couple of fits and starts in the PSU market, uh, EVGA has really come on with a vengeance. Um, I have to say, you know, looking at their new line, the Superfla Superflower built units have been absolutely unreal. Uh, there's been nothing that touches them at their price points and in their wattage classes. I mean, just absolutely top tier performers across the board. Now, the 1600 P2 is absolutely no exception. We said, you know, you know, when you're looking at this type of power supply, you, know, you want the best of the best. You don't want to be skimping anywhere. Now, the uh, 1600 P2 uh, absolutely rivals the best of the best. Um, when you look at the 1500 watt plus, I mean, let's be realistic, no disrespect to other manufacturers, the Corsair AX 1500i really stands head and shoulders uh, above everybody else. Now, did the 1600 P2 match the uh, AX 1500i as far as uh, power output? Yeah, it absolutely did. Um, it's every bit as good as far as power delivery as the AX1500. Is it better? No, no, it's really not. But, you know, you're talking about a situation where are you going to get better than basically perfect? You're really not. So, I mean, either way, with either one of them, you're looking at the two best as far as power delivery. However, uh, you know, the EVGA has a couple of things going for it that the Corsair doesn't. First off, three years longer on the warranty, plus EVGA customer service. Second off, it's got a cable kit that is significantly better than the Corsairs. So, I mean, you know, you've got two big advantages right there, you know, that are going to make me say that this is the editor's choice winner. This is the best power supply on the market right now as far as a big power supply. You know, and last but not least, uh, the EVGA has an MSRP $50 lower than the Corsair. Uh, also, the street selling price at the time I'm shooting this right now is a little bit more than that. You're looking at about a $70 difference, uh, what we're seeing on the street. So as much as I said, you know, price performance uh, really isn't a factor when you're looking at this, you know, when you're looking at the fact that, you know, you're getting the better power supply or, you know, at least the equivalent power supply for $70 less, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, so, you know, th there's obviously no question that the EVGA 1600 P2 is going to get a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award and is going to be our absolute recommendation as far as a large power supply. Uh, but like I say, from top to bottom, the EVGA Supernova line, uh, the 2 series, so you know the G2s and P2s are absolutely unparalleled in the market uh, at their price points at this time. And definitely all top to bottom are worth consideration uh, when you're looking to do a new build.